Okay, so I will now annotate a little bit more just briefly about this beginning part here uh, in this amateur diagram. But um, that Jesus being a bisexual is suggestive of Mark, uh, the Gospel of Mark alone when you look here at this confrontation. You have to account for this question as an anomaly if it was to be an accusatory question for which you're about to execute someone. I've gone over these reasons in previous recordings. Uh, the Jews having... Uh, you've, you've even got uh, concealed, concealed members of the kingdom that that reigned over and the, you know, that reigned over the Jews as a conquered people. Who the queen to King Herod is not mentioned. King Herod is, seems to be the only one mentioned. Uh, so are you the king of the Jews? Uh, and remember that regardless of sexuality, this, this response, well, you said it, is, is not... Not followed by, well, is that a yes or a no? Are you aware you've been accused because we intend to charge or anything like that? What I'm trying to say is I, I argue that the best way to account for the anomaly of the text here is that on a psychosexual level, the um, if Jesus were a bisexual then he certainly knew that while there were no word for it, and then the writers of the Gospel of John, uh, John chapter 1, verse 1, is almost paying homage to to that. Um, uh, in Inbred backed psychosexual enchargement on behalf of the accuser, met with uh, recessive... By um, a, a standpoint of recessive bilateral sexual concealment or having to hide one's own sexual health identity, sex, sex identity could account for that like the, the, that obscurity of, of exchange of, of speech of why it occurred why the accuser thought to, to, to phrase an accusatory question for an impending execution in such words. Like, are you the king? Um, if the king's into inbreeding, and, you know, he'd be someone that... For, there'd be many reasons that a dispatched officer would want to get away from the kingdom, <laughs> that kingdom. And... Uh, so you have them sort of holding on by a thread each, but Jesus would have had to if Jesus had didn't know the word bi bisexual, bilateral, or either of those words, and he knew whatever he was in his heart. Didn't have a word for it at the time, and that would affect and impede upon questions and answers in times of well, in in, in trying times. Uh, and, but this, but it was the time wouldn't have been so trying for the accuser. So that there was a witness in proximity to that exchange of words. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Makes makes somewhat makes somewhat sense of it being right. Not right morally, but. Uh, better accounting for th than uh, that, that he rocketed off into s space. Anyway. There's my little graph. Murder-suicide to human sacrifice as a gift. And no, I don't think any of it was a good thing. <laughs>